Here's to hoping whoever they send today won't kill Yellow Guy and we won't be held responsible. Yay! Boys, yeah! <laughs> when you get put on the wall or where? Wait a second, I'm thinking about dreams and the next I'm zapped here. What the Everything's cool, it's the future! What just happened? Here. What's it all about, you? Sketchbook? What is going on? Why is everyone- uh, Something must be wrong with the control panel! Hello? Uh, yeah, it's 1am and I was randomly summoned to Stragus' room for like, two seconds. Any idea what that's about? Because normally when I'm being violently tormented like this, you're all somehow involved. Shrek, Tony thinks something must be up at the control center, and if it keeps up, they might have to do a higher set on the world. You know what happens to your students if you reset, right? I think just getting them here. Oh boy, where is here? We're in that diner bar hangout place with teachers in between worlds. You know, the place. Laptop! Just what? Just. Oh my god, he exploded! Trust me, he's fine with it. Okay, is that everybody? Is anyone missing? Okay, guys, I'm ready. Guys? Textbook, maybe you should message the boss and ask what's going on. Way ahead of you. <laughs> <gasps> Make it stop! I wonder what will happen. Hey, it stopped! The tree! That's who I forgot. Eh, I never liked him anyway. So, uh, what happened exactly? Why'd the world disappear? The boss says the control panel started malfunctioning and got unplugged. We're going to have to start all over. What a waste. Um, okay, I have a few questions about all this, but I'll start with this one. Where are we exactly? Why did this place disappear with everything else? Well, it's not in a fabricated world we put students in. It's in a different one. It's like a private club of sorts of a place of talking object and shrignald. We call it the teacher's lounge. Well, you picked a fine time to leave us. We really could have used you back at the house, you know. Probably not. The yellow one was starting to remember his friends and what some of us did to them. Staying in the world would have only done more harm than good. We decided to go ahead and let him remember Red and Bird and get the boss to erase his memories of us living with them. As far as yellow guy's concerned, all we did was sing. Hey, did anyone besides me just Panic and start singing when they were zapped into Yellow Guy's room. Oh my god, I did that too. Same. Hey Lamp, we only got to hear a little bit of your song. Mind filling us on on what we missed? You can have a dream about painting your face. You can have a dream about exploding in space. It goes on like this you for four hours. Wait, wait, you guys have a boss? Who is it? Never met him. Then again, I'm a pretty new teacher. Tell me, you're old, right? Have you ever met the boss? No, I haven't either. I don't think any of us have. They just make us assign us students and send us off. And it doesn't bother you that you've never even seen the person that created you and makes you rot your students alive? Nope! Seems like someone's seriously digging having legs now. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, Magnet. Seeing as you're a walking safety hazard, have you ever broken anything? I broke Colin like ten times. <sighs> and that's why I can't remember the end of his song. Hey Lamp, did you know you're now shipped with spinach can? Ooh, what's shipping? It's when a bunch of people really want you and someone else to hook up, so they endlessly pester you about it. Trust me, I know. <laughs> That's silly. Spinach can and I barely know each other. Who would ship us? Oh, okay, one of you please teach me how to buy a canoe, please! My time has come. Hey Tony, how'd it feel when Yellow Guy talked to you as the guy who made him die? Like I did a job well done! Yeah! Alright, just humor me here. But what if Shrignal was like a giant shipper who just has a notebook full of fanfiction and fan art? What do you mean, what if? So, are you guys just gonna stay in the lounge for all eternity? Of course not! We're just staying here until we get assigned new students. Look, we can even leave if we want to.
We just don't want to because the outside is an inky black void with nothing but checkerboard tile. How does it feel being a part of a machine and not real? It's pretty good. There's some existential dread at first, but that wears off after about a year. I think the healthy teachers are still going through it, actually. They look happy, but you can't tell they're suffering. Do you know, or at least have any theories, on why Shregnold is the only teacher who's not an object? Oh, I know exactly why he's not a talking object! I can't believe I actually get to answer a question! Okay, so- Oh, okay, so you see, there was this week where the part of a controller thing that makes us broke, but we needed a new teacher for the new students, so the boss decided just to hire someone instead. We kept getting these pamphlets from a guy calling himself Swimnold about a world peace organization that promotes unconditional wealth. The boss thought it'd be great at brainwashing students, so they went ahead and hired him, and he's been a valuable hey, employee honey, ever not since. Worth it. Hey, Shregnold, how are you not dead? I mean, not only do you live in a world where people either try to kill or brainwash students every song, but you've lived an extraordinarily long time for a butterfly. I am an artificial life form created by a machine. Our creator decides when I live and when I die, and right now they're choosing to let me live. We must be grateful for every day the creator allows us to live.